Okay, folks, basically this here is when we get a static electrical through our auroral, through our ionosphere, our, all of our spheres of space around Earth. And we have a coronal that has got a lot more layers to it than what we thought, but this is when we get static to bleed through, and it is recent, okay? Basically, I should be able to minimize there, and there's your dates and times, okay? leading through down here to Earth, okay? Uh, rolling blackouts possibly here, there, or anywhere, or whatever, and plus also your job of player probably quit working for a little while on Thursday or Friday or whatever, and so forth and so on. So there's your stats for you. This should have been our map for the day. I didn't stay here very long, but this is Venus, uh, I believe Mercury, I believe Earth. Saturn possibly could be in this shot. And I will minimize out and show you th where we're at. And it was footage I was showing you earlier. Now, now this is a current stereo map of, of space on play. Because basically we always, you have to imagine, it's the easiest way to realize layers of height and everything and so forth and so on. <coughs> and basically we're in this well way down in here. And then this is blown up over here to, to show you that Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto and the meatball are out our back door right now, the dark side of Earth. Okay. The sun's in the well in the hole here. It's not drawn, but it's dead center in, the, in that well. You got Mercury, Venus, Mars. So we know Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth are all in that shot on the 19th, which is just blown up to 1,000, okay? So you know that our atmospheres are reacting to the CME flares, and basically that's the CME flares hitting us, and that was the data earlier I show of basically this el static electrical is getting through. Okay, now what I'll do is <coughs> we will open up the video and you're going to see how far ahead that that was. And it was a good thing that it was a glancing and basically it missed Earth, but it didn't because it seeped through. Can you imagine if it hit us? Okay, so we know that this is Venus for pretty damn sure. Okay, we could bet a lot of uh, $10 bets like those politicians. Okay, but that's Venus. Now this is the latest shot from H1A that we get on the 21st, and you got the meatball, and as you can see, the sun and supergiants over the right flaring. Okay, and you know that that's Venus right there. Okay, so basically, with that comet going away, that we got a fresh shot here of that comet right there. And as you watch this, you see that the shot, the latest shot, doesn't have the comet because they zoomed in. Okay, they zoomed in a little bit. You got the meatball, and you got Venus. Okay, so basically, Earth is somewhere in this shot like we've been showing and, and then let's go to to uh, a B or a actually an A shot from a head so earlier we had to comment and I'm not sure if it's went out of the shot on the later shot so there you got the comment there in full blown you can see the head of it and everything there and there you go blown up and we'll see as you blot will blop out of there put our tool up and we'll pull out like 150 and there's the meatball to the right, and there's Venus. So Earth is up here in this, and I'm going to try to get the blue shot to show you, because basically we should have Earth in here somewhere in this shot, okay? And basically I'll go ahead and just basically stay on this, and we'll frame this up, and we'll get uh, watch this play and so forth, and Earth should be here somewhere. Now here's core, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going ahead in months, and we're going to end up with... Eventually, we will end up with this year. Now, what this is is a catalog of all those objects traveling through space. Okay, so basically, it's that group there is what you keep seeing. But then, see how tight it's gotten. And then I'm going to back up. We're going to go to the previous month, and that's what we have melded together to. It was that latest shot. Okay, because that's last month. And then it's getting a little crowded, and remember the two-minute dude said that he didn't believe the magnetic of showing all those objects that are up there? Well, holy cramorama. So the sun and the supergiants, or at least maybe the sun, is in a corner turn and has to start turning with Earth in the Milky Way galaxy, or something's melding together. Okay, because that's the latest. You can't go any further than that. And I can give you a previous shot and we'll give you something even previous than that. 
And like I say, that this is just like when you're looking at the green colored one that shows you the suns spiraling through space, because that's what this is. Same objects moving ahead, but then as you see, they're even trying to zoom in and look at something there on that. And then I'll go to the next shot, and it's a little bit more, and remember it's the same objects, but then it runs into a bunch of this. So, and you know that there's a planet, no matter what, that's a planet, 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 and something's there too, so you just count those lines, okay, and there also, and then that's supposed to be the sun and whatever's around the sun, okay, and they zoomed in and wanted to take a peeky poo too, so we'll go to previous month, and I'll get back down and show you the date and everything like that, there, and I'll even bought back next month where we were at, so you see the date, make sure I did that. So, interesting, and this is as big as I can blow it up. So, and that's your, right there, that's your core 2A, the synoptic. So, more than likely going back through the maps, that should probably be Venus there, and Earth and Mars and Mercury there, okay? So, this is on, that, on the opposite side, and I pulled it from the 19th. That's H12 ahead, okay? So the all, the way, the all the way to the other side of the space with B is this footage here as you see the CME coming off the sun and all this over here, so Earth should be over here. So you can take your pick. I'm not going to try to tell you which one is Earth, but Earth is over here. And as you see that, there happen. So so we'll zoom back in on, on this at 400. As you see, that was the CME, and it should pop back up here. It should probably play pretty fast, and there you go. There it is. There's your date and time, and then we'll go back up. Zoom in to Venus. More than likely, that is Venus. Should sure the hell be Venus, and more than likely, either Saturn there or Saturn above there. That could be Saturn. Okay, but basically over here, no matter what, all of this here, somewhere here is one of these four or five over here, and even possibly could be wrong. And this is Earth up here, one of this something there, and maybe this is Saturn down here or something, or Saturn somewhere here. But this is Venus, and something here has got to be Earth. Like I say, from directly the other side, Saturn and more than likely Venus there. And there's Earth, and there's Mercury and Mars. Totally the opposite sides, okay? So you flip that completely around, and we go to the other side and look at the other side, okay? Because we're at right H1A. And we'll also take a look at it from B. So we're looking at it from B on this shot, okay? Venus and Earth. So Venus should be at some kind of... Earth should be at some kind of angle from Venus, and you got Mars and Saturn there, okay, and that's that B, okay, so let's go to H1B2 again, that's where our shot is, where we caught the idea that we saw in the synopsis for the week, that the idea that Earth should be in here somewhere, so at angles you would figure either this is Earth, or this is Earth, and it doesn't really matter, one way or the other, one of these is Earth, this could be basically possibly Saturn here, or whatever, it doesn't really matter, because no matter what, that's Venus. And we know it's close to Earth right now, so factually, actually, bang or bang is Earth. And possibly that, that, and or that, or that. So Earth is here, right here somewhere, folks, and that's where it got that CME action. And this was a glancing blow. This was a glancing blow, so let's pull this down. And let's zoom in first. Even if it's somewhere, if we're somewhere out of the way a little bit, that's us there, which I doubt it. We're somewhere up here to the right, and I got this in at a thousand. So there's Earth somewhere in our atmosphere, reacting to a huge CME from the sun, which is only, I believe, it was just a high C, not an M. So there's us, Earth, somewhere in this shot, because Venus is the biggest thing you see there. So we're, we're somewhere in that shot, blowing up a thousand. And so our atmosphere reacts, and we know that we spin through space like a spiral, like a bullet, and we go more than 60,000 miles an hour, and we know they're going, we're going like 66,000 plus miles an hour through space spiraling. And yes, we rotate, but we also spiral like a bullet. Just about all the objects up in space spiral like a bullet. How big of a spiral in miles that we do when we do our spiral, who knows? I think they've got it down, NASA does, but I don't think they're going to, because that's basically, then that would be the secret of traveling through space and making sure you come back and everything like that.
the right spot and everything like that. Just like the moon, when it uh, does our it does its orbits around us, it goes ahead of us and behind us, and it rotates around Earth also as it does that spiral that it does through space. And if we're going 66,000 miles an hour, then the moon is going 66,000 miles an hour also, or something pretty darn close to be able to stay with us in our stereo play. Remember, go back to the maps at the beginning. Earth is somewhere in this shot, ladies and gentlemen, more than likely. And if not, I just pop out a little bit and we'll customize it. Still somewhere in this shot. Earth's got to be there somewhere. Okay? Somewhere around here. And that's just a sign for Sechi down there, that there. Okay? So somewhere here, Earth is somewhere because that's Venus. And we'll pop all the way out. And there's your shot, and I can even come back in, and there's the sun and supergiants flaring, and we'll come back into like 150. And there you go. That's your freshest set sheet. Well, not this is the 19th. This is just the idea that we were able to catch Earth. We know that Earth has got to be there somewhere, because we know Venus is there, and we're grouped around there somewhere with Venus. So. And still here, you know that there's your comet, and there's your meatball. You can see the meatball better on this, but the idea of the darkness that the meatball is making with the sun is starting to hide itself because it hides itself in darkness because it blocks the sun and the supergiants to the right. It's flaring. And this is the CME, one of the CMEs that came off of the sun. Okay, and then I'll give you the freshest on the 21st down here. We'll go to that. And there's your freshest data. And then the meatball is there and it's blocking all the sun and the supergiants and the flare. And you can see this the meatball down here, you can see the corner of it right there, and it's just all this blocking all that out and making all that darkness. And IE, you can pretty much tell it if I'm looking at the footage down at the Antarctic. The meatball, the meatball, and there's Venus, and the sun and the supergiants is to the right, and you can see the flare. Okay, CME, and the old CME action that's out here traveling through space, out here that's lighting up space out there to vast Venus. I don't know how much time we got, and then you can see the CME action through. It's affecting the camera a little bit, the satellite, as it somewhat does, and it's got redundancy. They pretty much plan for it to take care of this stuff now. It's going to be interesting. The data, the curiosities we get, you should be able to try to find that and search. I don't know if they're letting us see that yet, but curiosity on its way up to Mars has been taking early measurements of radiation and so forth and so on because of the idea of all the CME action and stuff like that. Now remember, it only takes two years to go to Mars right now because where we are at in our positioning in our trip in the Milky Way galaxy with all the planets uh, circling the sun. Okay, so it only takes two years to get to Mars right now. It's somewhat close. Okay, curiosity will be up there in about another year and a half or something like that. A little bit more than that. So, curiosity's been up there for a little while. I don't remember the date. So anyway, there you go. You got Saturn there. And you got Mars. It's pretty faded. Let me see if I can zoom in on Okay, and it's kind of boring looking at the dots, you know what I'm saying? So the idea, if I zoom in on this much more, it's not going to make much of a difference. So you can see Mars and Saturn marked, and you can see Van Venus and Earth. So then what you do is you go back and look at the H1B shot that I showed you. I should have done it with more than one window and everything like that, just letting you know that that's what we're shot we're at and everything like that. And then you can realize that what I'm t showing you is the, sh is the truth, that all of these planets were in that H1B, that high B shot on the 19th and you could see the reaction of our uh, atmospheres, our coronals and NASA is already admitting that the scientists are going like, well we got way more layers to our aurorals, you know, through space, our eyeball, water or whatever you want to call it because there's some kind of a, a magnetism and gases and everything, the, all the makeup of Earth's atmospheres from our cloud and you can see that I did the cloud thing for you on in our atmosphere on Earth and then out all the way out into our coronal that, that uh, is our static as we go through space and there's discovering more and more layers and you can see it as the B showed you the CME reactive flares to their CME flares of a, and that's a reaction of our atmospheres our outer, outer coronal and that's your positioning so you take this map and this is current and you go back to the other footage that I gave you and you can pretty much find Earth in that deal and you can pretty much make up your own mind. I'm not going to sit there and tell you, okay, that's exactly Earth right there, but you know it was in that shot, in that H1B shot, because you can tell by looking at this grouping here. And, and unless NASA is wrong on this, that uh, 
Earth was in that shot, and you could see the CME action that reacts the camera when it flickers like that. The camera is 